तंतरेन मंगो मेरो मन पावे बिसराम बिन गोविंद अबर जे चाहो दिसे सगल बात है खाम कहो नानक रेन मांगो मेरो मन पावे बिसराम कहो नानक संत रेन मांगो मेरो मन पावे बिसराम वाहेगुरु जी का खालसा वाहेगुरु जी की फतेह संगत जी टुडे इज पावन पितर हुक्मनामा साहिब इज ऑन अंग 713 1713 ਅੰਗ ਉੱਪਰ ਤੇ ਸੁਕਮਨਾਮਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਹਸ ਬੀਨ ਬਲੈਸਡ ਟੂ ਅਸ ਬਾਈ ਧੰਨ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਜਨ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਪੰਜਵੇਂ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਵਾ ਫਿਫਥ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬਾਨ ਇਨ ਟੋਡੀ ਰਾਗ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਜਨ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਜੀ ਟੋਡੀ ਮਹੱਲਾ ਪੰਜਵਾਂ ਘਰ ਦੂਜਾ ਦੋ ਪਦੇ ਦੋ ਸੰਗ ਜੀ ਮੀਨਸ ਟੂ ਪਦੇ ਮੀਨਸ ਫਾਟਸ ਸੋ ਪਦੇ ਇਵਨ ਕਮਸ ਫਰਮ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ the word feet so it's standing on two feet it can be translated in that way as well ek omkar satgur prasad mangra charan sangat ji ek omkar satgur prasad satgur ji paach is saying only through the prasad through the grace of the satguru of the true guru the guru that gives us realization of the truth sangat ji only through the grace of that guru can we realize that ek that actually there is nothing but that ek there is only but that one so guru arjan dev ji paach ji today is saying to us mango dan put in themselves in this place so embracing us taking us in and saying and giving us their own beautiful words of how to put a bainti forward how to put a humble request forward how to beg before that one so sangat ji these words we're going to embrace and these are going to be our ardas for today these are going to be our humble request for today before that one before wahi guru ji mango mango means to ask to request to beg mango daan daan means gift but here it's got an anchor underneath the nanna meaning the gift i just want one gift i don't want gifts just one thing i want and what is that one gift i want that from i want thakur naam i want the name of thakur thakur means it's another name for god i want the name of god what's that actually saying it's saying that i want that connection and when i was contemplating that this morning wanting that connection because our mind can often think that when we think about connection we might think about two things here we might think about this here this one thing whether that be my body whether that that be my mind and that mind being here as a separate entity and then they been wahi guru ji and then this here connecting to naam making a connection sangat ji from one thing to another but the truth is this connection is so unique this connection is so beautiful this connection is actually saying that you know that soul that sits inside of me the atma that sits inside of me that what our guru talks about throughout gurbani that what even the pagat spoke about that even what pagat farid ji is telling us about pagat farid ji saying the saying that aap sawar hai so what they are saying what is this connection actually about and sangat ji i'm having to use my hand so i know those of you that are only using uh, listening to audio might not be able to actually physically look at how i'm trying to depict this and you know you know a perfect way would be to actually have some form of 
drawings or presentation to show this sangat ji mango dan aap sawar hai bhagat farid ji is saying aap sawar hai so think about this the saying that i am tidying up myself what that means is that i'm not able to make a connection to you because i'm stuck in my mind i'm stuck in my thoughts i'm stuck in all that karma all the dirt all the filth all these things that i've been doing they're not allow- allowing me to reflect you to be able to experience you so freed ji saying actually what you need to do this saying aap sawar hai this saying you need to you you need to start cleaning tidying up here you know like a mother says to a child this is ja ja ke kamra sawar ke apna utthe kuch pata hi nahi lagda kuch desda hi nahi utthe na pata lagda koi cheez kithe payi hai jithe vi dekho bas kapde utthe khilare pae hai a mother will say to the child go and tidy your room up you can't even see anything you don't even know what there what's there sangajin the same way sometimes we are in such a mess inside of our minds we are stuck in our memory we are stuck in our thoughts we are stuck in the past we are going through events in our life again and again round and round we are going in our own thoughts in our own past experiences or we're going round and round in thought in trying to work out what might happen we may have even convinced ourselves that this is going to happen tomorrow in the next few days next year thinking about even 10 years ahead what's going to happen for my children have i done enough for them have i made enough for them have i financially secured them going round and round and pagat kabir ji say kende what this is what is this that we are doing kende chint bhavan man paryo hamara kende that now you've gone into this bhavan bhavan sangat ji is this whirlpool whirlpool it's something that goes round and round this is pagat kabir ji talking about what how does anxiety actually work anxiety comes from when a place of fear when something keeps continuing to go circle within our mind so bhagat kabir ji saying kinde chint bhavan man pareo hamara kinde bhavan bhavan is the whirlpool so the so the thoughts that are continuously going in circles and it could be just one thought that ki badunga enada what's going to happen am i going to be able to do enough for my child financially secure their future and that could be a thought that's going round and round or it could be a thought of the past because people say that anxiety is caused by thinking of the future that's not true that's just one that's what one potential of how it's caused but anxiety could also be just thinking of the past as well in not accepting the past in idda why did this happen to me idda mere nal kaate ho gaya eh nahi si hona chahida why did this happen to me that this shouldn't have happened oh i shouldn't have made that choice i should have made that choice if i only had done that then sangat ji and that is also going in circles and that is also creating anxiety inside of us so sangat ji bhagat kabir ji is explaining that kende chint bhavan chint means anxiety man pareo hamara can it's going round and round and we're stuck in our mind like this just like that room that is so messy and that room hasn't been cleaned up and hasn't been tidied and we can't actually see what's underneath the clothes what the actual floor even looks like and that floor might be immaculate and beautiful but you can't experience it you can't enjoy it because it's been covered up and we cover it up with our worries and anxieties we're covering up wahiguru ji we're covering up that connection so then our mother gurbani takes us in takes this little finger and says come on let me guide you 
and Bhagat Farid Ji say, Kende aap sawar hai. Kende you have to start tidying up yourself at that point. Kende aap sawar hai. What will you do when you start cleaning and tidying yourself? Ma mil hai. Kende you'll meet yourself. Just like that floor will be re revealed to you, you've been walking on this mess all of that time, thinking that this is it, this is my room, this is my floor, not realizing, and Sangaji, in the same way, we're stuck in our memory, we're stuck in our thoughts, we're stuck about the decisions we made in the past, we're stuck in what will happen tomorrow. Oh, not accepting this, my life right now. And then Sangha Ji, so that is, Kende aap sawar hai, but Bhagat Farid Ji say, when you start to tidy yourself up, when you start to actually cleanse, clean up your actions, when instead of making more mess, more mess, I got into that mess in the past. Why? Because I did things that create a mess. And that mess was, what did I do? I did things like slander. Slander creates a mess. Slander creates anxiety. Slander talking about others creates, puts weight on our head. Slander, Sangadiji, it ruins us in so many ways. And that is slander is self destruction. And that is the mess that we've made. And now we keep thinking, why did I do that? What is going to happen about tomorrow? Because that's what slander will do to us. Slander will make us think, what's going to happen tomorrow? What if they find out? What if they approach me? The person that I spoke about? What if this happens now? By slandering, look at the what I've caused. I've made this person think differently. I've made them go and say this and that to that person as well. Sangaji, it's look at the mess that it's creating. And we're not, it's like then walking on all those kapre, all those clothes. And we think, ahi mera bas kamraya, this is my room, this is my floor. And then I start to think, this is me, that's it. But now I'm getting desperate. I'm getting desperate, so I'm begging now. And I'm saying, oh why Guruji, I'm saying, mango daan thakur naam. Saying that now, that I can't do this anymore. I've just right. I've just come right to there to the to the end now. That even though it was me that I kept asking for things, Pacha Ji is saying that. Aapi main mang mang ke pata ne ki ke uch mangya, the main mang ke hun bas thak gaya. I've been asking and asking, but now I've become tired. That such a Pacha Ji they tell us in Sri Japji Sahib Guru Nanak Dev Ji Pacha Ji. Kende denda de lan de thak paahe. Paachi saying kende the giver denda de kept giving. Kept giving what my own desires were. And then Sangati ji denda de. I was slandering someone why to make myself look better. Because I wanted people to follow me. Because I wanted people to know it's all about me. And I wanted to actually have more friends i wanted more followers whatever it may have been sangat ji but then so that was my request that was what i was asking for i was asking for that i wanted to be more popular i wanted to be more known i wanted people to follow me and then that's why i slandered and made somebody else look bad and made them look i put them down so I can be there in the eyes of other people. I can be higher in the eyes of other people. Sangaji, so then what was it? All these requests came from me. All these responsibilities that I wanted, the positions I wanted in my workplace, wherever it might be in your life. I, they all, I asked for them. I might not have asked for them outright. I might not have voiced it. But that's what I was desiring and I was asking for. But then what happened? Then the day, the giver of gifts, he keeps giving. And because that's just how, that's how this Kudrat works. That's how the nature of Wahiguruji works. Because whatever your inner desire is, that whether you will bring that to you. 
Sangaji, whether that be in one year, two years, ten years, twenty years, whether that be in three hundred, four hundred years time, in a different body. But we cannot escape that because that's how Wahiguruji's Kudrat works, Wahiguruji's Shakti, Wahiguruji's nature. Then da de, and then Sangaji, eventually we realize that actually that even though I've grown my popularity and I've created this mess by the way I've got here because I was slandering all that time, I was doing this, I was doing that to get here but now I've, I've become tired become tired in realizing where is that happiness I've been looking for मैं सोचया सेगा आ भी आ जूगा ओ भी आ जूगा मैं इथे पहुंच जूगा मेरे 1 लाख जेड़े फॉलोअर हो जूगे जेड़े मेरे पीछे लग जणगे मैं सोचया सेगा फेर अंदरो शांति हो शांत होऊंगा मैं मैं सोचया जे मेरे एक बेटा जन्मया घर दे अंदर त शायद फेर मैं खुश हो खुश हो जावा आई थॉट दैट इफ आई वाज टू रीच दैट 100000 फॉलोअर्स आई थॉट इफ आई वाज टू I thought if I if I was to get that son main eh jehdi agg laggi sigi main sochya sig ke jehdi andar mere agg aa ke inj bujh jugi I thought that this fire that is inside of me that in this way that when I receive that that's it all be gone par paach ke de den da de oh ta de hi gaya but eventually I realized that agg ta bujh di nahi pehi pyareo that this fire just just it's not going it doesn't extinguish this fire it ta it mach di jandi mach di jandi ya but sangat ji then what main baad ch ki hoya main ta thak gaya pyaro kende lende thak pa he i grew tired i became tired because i thought nahi yaar oh mili ni andro shanti ta mili ni i didn't actually receive that in a contentment that in a joy that constant joy and pleasure and sahaj because i didn't reach all of that i got tired and then things changed and then i realized why guruji i need that that is constant i need that i need a connection to you so i start now to beg for mango dan sangat ji kasai de ni naam mango ho jana cuz we just we won't end up just asking for naam like that ਥੱਕੂਗੇ ਤਾਂ ਨਾਮ ਮੰਗੂਗੇ ਨਾ ਇਟਸ ਆਫਟਨ ਇਟ ਵਰਕਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਥੈਟ ਇਟਸ ਵੈਨ ਵੀ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਗੈਟ ਟੂ ਦੈਟ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਆਫ ਵਨ ਵੀ ਵੇਅਰ ਵੇਅਰ ਆਰ ਸੈਲਫ ਆਊਟ ਵਨ ਵੀ ਕਮ ਸੋ ਟਾਇਰਡ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਸੇ ਟੂ ਸਮਨ ਨਾਮ ਮੰਗਿਆ ਕਰ ਕਹਿ ਦਿੰਨੇ ਆ ਨਾ ਵੀ ਸੇ ਟੂ ਸਮਬਡੀ ਵਾਈ ਡੋਨਟ ਯੂ ਬੈਗ ਫੋਰ ਨਾਮ ਬਟ ਦ ਡਿਜ਼ਾਇਰ ਇਜ਼ਨਟ ਥੇਰ ਯੈਟ ਦ ਥਿਰਸਟ ਇਜ਼ਨਟ ਥੇਰ ਯੈਟ ਦ ਪੇਨ ਇਜ਼ਨਟ ਥੇਰ ਯੈਟ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਟਸ ਵਾਈ ਭਗਤ ਫਰੀ ਜੀ ਸੈਡ ਟੂ ਅਸ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਬਿਰਹਾ ਬਿਰਹਾ ਆਖੀਏ ਬਿਰਹਾ ਤੂੰ ਸੁਲਤਾਨ ਸੁਲਤਾਨ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਬਿਰਹਾ ਬਿਰਹਾ ਆਖੀਏ ਬਿਰਹਾ ਤੂੰ ਸੁਲਤਾਨ ਆ ਵਾਸ ਟੋਕਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਥਿਸ ਟੂ ਸਮਬਡੀ ਦੀ ਅਦਰ ਡੇ ਐਂਡ ਸੰਗਤ ਜੀ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਆਫ ਆਵਰ ਓਨ ਪੇਨਸ ਐਂਡ ਐਕਸਪੈਕਟੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਆ ਸਪੀਕਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਪਿਆਰਾ ਯੈਸਟਰਡੇ ਫੋਰ ਓਵਰ ਐਨ ਆਵਰ ਐਂਡ ਇਨ ਸੋ ਇਨ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਪੇਨ pain why because of situations in life and things not going to their way to their expectations because yet we're still holding on to people around us but only when we get to that point when we feel this pain that's why pagat free ji said you are the king you are the sultan when we reach that point to that pain and saying nahi agg de bujde nahi jandi this fire isn't going my own children haven't been able to give me that inner satisfaction that i thought speaking to someone a week ago not sorry directly but she was in pain and this person was saying that all i want in my life is that I have a great relationship with my children and sangaji and look at this all these things eventually we keep going and and when we get to that point it's not given us what we are actually after we was after that connection with wahiguruji 
And then when we feel that pain, biraha, biraha, aki, then we beg out of that pain. Many people talk about pain, but Bhagat Friji saying that is that true pain, that biraha tu sultan, that pain when we get tired in the end. And then we say, I want you, I need you, Wahikruji. Can they Farida Jitatan Biroho na upaja? Can they the truth is actually if there's anyone out there, if there's anybody out there that doesn't actually experience that pain of experiencing the pain of separation that I need you have tried everything and Sangat Ji you know what we've not only been trying for two days for 20 years or for me 39 years this body Juga Jugantar Kha Hi Kha Hai Aha Pyaare Juga Jugantar It's been throughout the ages Eta kahani pyareo, it's been eta kroda sal hoge chaladinu. It's been millions of years since we've been trying this. Of desires, asking for this, getting that, desiring this, then that. Ah milgea, ah camera agea hon, oh lens agea hon, oh agea hon, ah agea. Getting this, getting that, getting a child, getting this. This has been going on for millions of years. Appa. प्यारे बहुत पुराने हैं बहुत उम्र बहुत ज्यादी है ये ता प्यारे ये ता उम्र केवल 40 साल आ शरीर दिया मेरी असल उम्र थोड़ो है This is only the age of this body पाच जी saying you come on when are you gonna get tired and real meaning when are you gonna realize कि जुगा जुगंतर खा ही खा ही You've been eating, consuming things for so many, many years throughout the ages this has been going on. Can they hukmi hukam chalaye rahu? Pat ching, this is the way hukmi is Wahiguruji. Hukmi is referring to Wahiguruji here. Hukmi, the one that gives out the order, that's Wahiguru. Can they hukmi hukam chalaye rahu? Wahiguruji, it's their way, it's their law. It's how they create this path of existence of life it's all based off our desires nanak vigsa ve parva kinde but that one remains in complete untouched carefree that's where we want to be so when we get to that point and we get to that pain that jit tan birho na upaja bhagat farid ji say kinde but that body kinde jit tan birho Na upaja Can they sotan jaan masan Can they know that body as a cremation Can they actually if you haven't got that pain yet To want to connect to Wahiguru Can they then you are just a cremation ground You're going round and round in your desires And you've been doing that for millions of years Can they thak ja hun Paat ji saying And then can they when we get to that point Sangha ji that's when we really beg for now until then we can say it from here but that day when we get to Thakapahe we'll say then from inside you'll be saying Mango Daan Thakur Naam and then you'll be asking for that Naam then you'll say clean me up because I want to meet myself Connection, Sangat Ji, is a, does not mean that there's two entities. Connection does not mean that you get from here and then you remain there and you make this connection. Connection means that you realize this, I am this. You light up. That bulb lights up inside and it starts to flash and you, the connection is becoming. The connection is knowing, realizing that light within. And you don't connect with that from this to that. It's you clean up. You clean up. And then you get to that truth. And that is called connection. That's Naam. Naam is realizing. Naam is experiencing. Can they ask Oh, I've met myself now. You 
picked up all the clothes from the floor. Oh, that's the floor. Oh, that's me. Now I know who I am. Man, Miliasukwe. Oh, and now I've got sock because I've met who I am. When I cleaned up, when I begged for that connection, and then part of the here, Piario, Takuru Nam, Abar Kachu, Mere Sangana Chale, can they because nothing else other than that connection from inside, that from begging, from pain, in pain, to be connected. Nothing else will go along with me when I leave this body. Mele Kripa Gunagam and Sangiji Mele Kripa that only with your grace do I receive Gun to live in praise, Sangadji, to sing your praise. Gam Sangadji can be translated to to sing your praises. No matter what situation comes in my life, I still sing your praise. I was reading an article this morning of somebody that is a minister at these gospel churches that the whole everything is based off praising the Lord and he said that he truly got to experience to con continuing to praise Wahiguruji saying to Wahiguruji that you are the greatest like saying that hey Wahiguruji Hakka Kabir Kareem that saying hey Wahiguruji that you are the absolute greatest and when we Sangataji that connection from inside of being able to praise Wai Guruji no matter what situation when we say Hakka Kabir Kareem saying you are the greatest at all times and he said he got to experience that when when he found out his son had just passed away he still managed to praise Vaheguru and that's when we really know that Je Sukh Dehe Ta Tujhe Aradhi Tukh Pi Tujhe Tiyai Je Pukh Dehe Ta Itihi Raja Dukh Vich Sukh Manai so Sangat Ji, Pat Ji is saying to here, here to us, Rahau. Raj Mal Anek Bhog, Raj. All the power that we wanted, that we thought will bring us suck, bring us happiness, Raj, that power, that having, being able to rule over others. Mal wealth, Anek Bhog, Anek Bhog, Sangat Ji, all these different types of bog, these enjoying myself through different forms of pleasures, ras, pleasures, sagal tarvar ki charm, Sadhguruji saying it's all just tarvar ki charm, it's the, just like the shadow from the tree that's going to pass and not going to remain, it's all temporary. And then Bhatsha Ji says to us, Kande tae tae bahobid ko tae they running around in so many different directions, Sagal Nirarat Kaam, can they, this is all just a waste, can they, it's just not going to bring any fruits to you, trying to run around and bring what, you're bringing sock through what type of things, things that are just like that shadow that aren't going to remain, we're trying to find that, that sock from our children, from our surroundings, no that's just, the, that's just the shade of the tree that is going to pass, we need to connect to the tree. We need to connect to the truth to Wai Guruji because everything else running around, that tae tae, running, running from here to there, thinking that baho bid in trying to trying so many different things out. Can they call tae? Can they sagal nirarat kaam? Can this is all? Can they in vain? It's all a waste if it's not going to connect you to that one. Can they bin go in the avar na cha hoon? Can they bin go in the can they that? That desire needs to be for that one, for Wahiguruji. Without the desire for that one, Bin Govind, Avar Je Chahu. If I end up 
desiring anything else but that one kende dise sagal baat hai kaam that everything else will realize it is just ash it's just temporary kahu nanak sant rehn mango ke kahu nanak sant rehn mango so that i can remain connected to waheguru ji the i sant rehn mango the i beg i beg sant rehn mango for the dust of the feet of the saints meru man paave bisram so that my mind can then be in bisram at rest at peace be tranquil meaning i find sahaj inside sangat ji so i had completely planned a different katha and it is going to be more based around just what is praise but it ended up being on mangondan in getting to that place of truly being able to beg for nam and so did that that moment and that is begging to be connected to our true self which is eternal which is beyond birth and death which is beyond fear beyond anxiety and sangat ji that moment can be now you can come to that realization realization right this moment look what i've done in my life look at what i've achieved all the mal all the raj i've got in positions of control of power of mal wealth i've got so much children whatever it is but still there's no sock and it doesn't mean that you have to continue and you have to carry on and get to that point that that moment of realization can be now that mangondan that i beg for your name to be connected to you thakur naam and sangat ji i beg for that gift to be connected to you that moment of realization of being tired could be right this second that voice of being connected to our true self can come right this second you can do that ardas right now after going through these words and helping us to realize so wahguru ji ka khalsa wahguru ji ki fateh